Okay, today we're going to make uh, fish hooks out of these finished nails. I'm going to use propane to heat it with just because it's easier than firing up the forge. And a couple other tools you need are some pliers, uh, a couple different hammers, a small and a large. If you want to make a barb on your hook, you're also going to want to use maybe some needle files. So the first step is we're going to heat up the tip of the nail because I'm going to put a barb in mine. And then we'll flatten that tip with a hammer. So here we go. You want to heat it until it gets red hot. So there we are, flat nail tip. I also have a bucket of water here. Use that once you're done to harden it. You get it red hot, then you know, put it in the water to cool very quickly. It makes it harder. All right, so that's one. I'll do it uh, three more times here. Okay, if you guys wanted to make one without a barb, it's fairly simple. We can show you that one real quick while You don't even need a hammer for this part. Just uh, two set of pliers. And then when it's red hot, towards the middle of the nail, take your other pliers, you just bend it. Whatever shape you're looking for. And I like to set them to where they're offset slightly, just like the ones you'd buy. It helps get faster hook sets. But there is your barbless hook. Get a better view of that for you. So here's the two different hooks. I have the one I hammered flat, which I have to then barb with some needle files. And then I have the one I made without a barb. It's just a bent nail, that really is. It's pretty simple. Now the head of the nail is nice. It acts as a weight and also helps uh, secure your knots when you do tie them because there is no eye on this kind of hook. So, so I'm going to show you where we're at so far. Alright, so I have a flat and then I have more of a wedge shaped needle file. So I'm going just to really just cut a kind of a groove somewhere near the tip. of this nail here. Can I see how we're getting a notch there? What we're gonna do is then we're gonna come in underneath to kinda take the wedge out underneath that notch. Probably best to use a flat part of the file for this. This is why we harden it after we do all this. This would, it's much easier with the soft metal. Okay, you kind of see where we're at. Almost the shadow of the nail might be easier for you to see 
You see how it's made kind of a spear point on the tip of it? Like an arrowhead on the end of the nail. Just filing in on both edges, that's all I did. So, now that we, we have, have our barb, barb, let's make it into a curved shaped hook. So, back to the heat in here. Okay, you're just gonna heat the, the end of this hook, or nail now. It'll be a hook in a second. Until it's red hot. And then we're just gonna take our unos and just bend the tip. Heat up again. Trying to make it offset just like a modern fish hook. So there we go. It's a fairly large hook. It's a fairly large hook, but it made it easier to show you how to do it. You can always you do this on smaller uh, finish nails would be an easy way to do this. <coughs> so there's a barbed hook. You just final sharpen it with uh, some small files and there's hook number one done. Okay, I'm just gonna put a, an edge on these barbs just to kinda... And I just have a flat uh, needle file. And there's one more step. We're gonna heat it up again and then put it into some water just to harden it. I don't want this to straighten out when I have a, a fish on it. So there's that hook and then I'll do the same here with this barbless style. Okay, there's the two hooks, and I'm gonna heat them back up and throw them in this bucket of water. I'll show you that also. Okay, get our first nail. Just gonna get the whole thing red hot. Especially the bend of the hook. Nice and red hot. Just throw it in the bucket of water there. All right, here are two different style of hooks from just a finished nail. We get a barbed and then a no barb. See how they're offset from the center line of the shank? That's my imitation of a modern fishing hook design. Hope you guys learned something and thanks for watching.